On Monday the 5th of August, scores of students and staff made their way to the university's Great Hall, where newly appointed Vice Chancellor Adam Habib hosted his first town hall meeting. Basically what we're hoping to achieve from this as SRC, but mostly as students, is for the Vice Chancellor to give us an honest response about what are some of the responses that management has to some of the issues that we as students and we as the SRC have raised for so long. Um, issues such as safety routes, um, international fees, issues, um, etc, etc. So we are waiting for the Vice Chancellor. I'm a proud member of Project W. What Project W aims to do is it's taken a whole conglomerate of different students and put them together because what we found is that there's no unified body representing the students and we tried to do that. The idea that the Vice Chancellor has come, has, has come to the students and is asking us what are our concerns when he sits down with his budgets and he, he must consider our start? demands first. Questions regarding outsourcing, the VC's 12 million rand home, wage increases and race representations were posed to Habib. Workers remain exploited, they have unjust wages, they remain treated in ways that are not acceptable for a university of this standing. What are you going to do about outsourcing on this campus? Please tell us more about the moral high ground or what it means for the vice chancellor to be staying in such an expensive house. Thank you. Uh, what, what are you going to do to, to, to assist service, service provider? especially in terms of civilization. I mean, I'm, 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 I've got more than 10 years or 12 years to be here, but any, any same money, like 2,000. What I'm going to do with food, uh, assisting my children? Can you give me an answer, please? Um, I'd like for you to disclose the hiring process at WITS, especially in relation to race. I am a politics honors student, and we don't have any black senior lecturer. By black, I'm not referring to the affirmative action definition of Indian colored, etc. Habib sympathized with the student and staff grievances, saying that they would all be addressed at the next executive meeting, and that there were plans to increase the university staff body. This is what we can be doing. The first thing we can be doing is we can do for retention is we take staff seriously, and we want to retain the top stuff. We're advertising in the next two weeks, you'll see the Melic Guardian. We're advertising 30 new academic appointments. 30 new academic appointments of A-rated researchers or equivalent. At the end of the meeting, Habib encouraged the audience to email him if they had any further questions. After the meeting, debates raged on between students outside the Great Hall. It seems the conversation continues.